What's up? I'm not rinsing anymore. I have my nine box scooter after testing the scooters around Atlanta. I find that my scooter does pretty good speed. I also have a new power bank and it has a supercharger on it so my phone is actually gaining charge on it. It's not losing charge, it's actually gaining it. It's at 44% and it's right here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start walking around Buckhead and I may go ahead and ride down to Midtown Atlanta. This thing has about two and a half, three bars left. It should be able to get me at least there. It's a very nice looking area. Some of these tires squill a lot in this kind of material of concrete. Oops, the gimbal kind of passed up there. It's too much for the gimbal. Oh, here we go. So I'll go ahead and grab the cord and hold it up. Three people welcome saying, I like your scooter. I'll get mine from a store that sells it. Yeah, it's a Segway 9 bot like African American girl. It looks very nice over here. Joe T saying yo yo POV. Woot woot. What's up, Joe T? They have a lot of luxurious stores over here. So this is the Phipps Plaza by Assignment Center. And today was a pretty windy Wednesday. I shot two different videos, actually three different videos. I even got a scooter ride in. I took the back roads to get here to Buckhead. And they have a lot of nice houses here in Atlanta. Whoa, seven people, welcome. Do you remember me, buddy? I think I do. A lot has happened, I'm not sure. But uh, if I met you personally, I would prefer to keep any like confidential information just to yourself. But welcome anyway, black African-American girl. What's up? Adriana Rodriguez saying, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Adriana. It's great to see you. Both of you, you and black African-American girl as well. But definitely you, Adriana. I haven't seen you on my channel in a long time. We're here in Atlanta. This is the Lenox Square. Across the street with, uh, the perfect view of downtown Atlanta. There you go. Or I can do 160th shutter and lower the ISO down. There you go. Beautiful. I'm not sure if this is doing 4K or if we're doing 60 FPS. We may be doing 60, I don't know. I think this may be HD at 60 FPS. Whichever one, it looks awesome.
thought we were doing 4K, but it is what it is. 60 FPS looks realistic. 4K looks clear. Adriana Rodriguez, I'm new. Oh, welcome to my channel then. I do uh, walking streams here in Atlanta. Wait to cross Lennox Road. Wait to cross Lennox Road. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to wait. Lennox Road. Walks on his own across Lennox. Can even get its uh, own sentence out though. I honestly thought I was streaming in 4K, but that's okay. The skimble's uh, kind of lackluster in certain areas. I think it could be a lot more stable holding the camera. It's like the phone is just too much weight for it, which is not good. Especially since I had cinematic ND filters and one of them dropped right on the ground and kind of scuffed some of it up a little, but not the glass part, thankfully. But nonetheless, I don't really like the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 gimbal, as you see. It just like gave up on me. I don't even know how, it's not even a lot of weight. not really a good gimbal I, as I thought it would be. I may not get rid of it, but it's kind of letting me down in certain areas. Let me go ahead and raise the ISO. I'll read your comments. I'm going to turn this here. Here we go. Adriana Rodriguez said, be careful when cars turning right. Yeah, I already know. It's actually a lot worse out in the suburbs of Atlanta than it is in the city, to be honest. You should watch some of my videos I did, the live streams I did last week when I was in Stockbridge and Morrow. We are streaming at 60 FPS, everyone. Not in 4K, but 60 FPS, I think in... 1080p. What happened to your bicycle? Um, I got rid of it uh, some years ago. It was just not even safe to ride in Atlanta or a really stock bridge at that time. somebody was calling me. <laughs> Seven people, welcome. Welcome to Buckhead. Across the street now I'll stay over here because I may want to ride the scooter further down and I'd rather just stay on one side of the street New York Prime a steakhouse f H oh, hi. a steakhouse f literally says that. I think the bottom of the E chipped off, but Steakhouse, it looks like it's saying. You go ahead and uh, adjust the ISO. Here you go.
Linux Towers. Linux Towers. like that light wanted to come on but it couldn't a lot of damage in Conyers last night oh my gosh like that's not good man uh, it was inches away from hitting Stockbridge too that's why I was out there recording it last night because I didn't know if it was gonna get very violent but I wanted to get a first-person view of it I already knew it was gonna get pretty uh, bad but Thankfully, it was just a sort of heavy rain shower a little, but it wasn't too bad. Ten people, welcome. Welcome to Atlanta. What is going on, everybody? You're streaming at 60 FPS. Giving you a nice immersive experience here in Buckhead. Right now I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's also capable of streaming in 4K if you want. So, Palm Restaurant established 1926. So right now we're approaching the business district of Buckhead. Here we go. Sharita McKeithen, good evening. Welcome. Cayenne on Peachtree, luxury apartments. We keep talking over the music. Waldorf Astoria, Atlanta Buckhead, there we go. It's pretty low light over here. Let me go ahead and adjust the uh, ISO here and mute the microphone. <laughs> Here we go. Adriana saying yes, it was bad. Oh, wow. I can see how. Uh, it was severe storms widespread all throughout Atlanta, the Atlanta metropolitan area, and most of Georgia. It was pretty bad. The Gaming Pro, what's up, man? Can you do more Minecraft City? Eventually, I want to make sure that the audience is mature enough and not all children. for certain reasons why I uh, did not do Minecraft. I felt that uh, there were too many kids joining. Magianos. Corner Bakery Cafe. Cool. All you can eat. Pancakes. What's up, man? Hey. <laughs> Shout out to him. Do they have all you can eat pancakes in there? That looks really good. All you can eat pancakes. That's cool. That's kind of like IHOP. 
corner bakery. But there are too many trees blocking it. So you can't really see it how you want to. Or how you should, rather. I want burgers, but now that's kind of making my appetite want to go to pancakes. Thanks to that uh, advertisement in there. Here's the Buckhead Transit Station. Here, this is right in the middle of the downtown business district. Here's the maps and information. So right now we're on the red line. The red line goes all the way to the airport, but there are only four lines here in Atlanta. So it's not an exclusive or uh, a busy metro kind of station if I'm saying it the right way a busy kind of uh, subway system an extensive subway system rather it's uh, pretty limited but nonetheless do you have something to get around Atlanta How's everyone doing tonight, this evening? All eight of you watching, how are you guys doing? It smells very good. It smells like grilled burgers with grilled onions. Residences. Looks very nice over here. Bistro Nico or Nico. Are you going towards Piedmont Road? I think so. Right now I'm on Peachtree Road, northeast. Tower Place Drive. Just going to more flat ground here. Here we go. It's a bit of a dark image over here. Let me go ahead and brighten that up for you guys. So a little bit, there we go. Falling leaf going on there. I think this may be going towards Piedmont Road, Adriana. I'm not quite sure of, but I'm going southbound on Peachtree Road. I'm a Renaissance, cross it out, Renaissance man. <laughs> Twelve people, welcome. Welcome to downtown Atlanta. Really, we're in uh, Buckhead right now. But I'm going to be riding my scooter in a little while 
down to Midtown. And I'll walk through Midtown for a while. All 12 of you watching. Huh. <laughs> oh, this is a beautiful area. Oh my gosh, let me go ahead and walk through over here actually. This is a really nice area. Wow. Very pretty area, guys. Beckhead Pizza Company. Absolutely, Adriana. Very nice indeed. I think the address is 3324 or is that 2324? Can't really see it from this angle. that quality. It's beautiful. It's a really nice area of Atlanta. Got the LEDs and the water fountain there. See, I can actually just cross the street right here and continue down. Actually, let's go through over here. Because this takes me back to the main road anyway. Let me uh, adjust the ISO and... Here we go. It's a little dark over here, but... Still pretty nice. This hotel has its own cool looking driveway. Very nice. driving out. I could just take the driveway back to the street. Hi. Doing good, doing good. Looks awesome over here, bro. Yep. Looks awesome over here. Wow. Driveway. So this driveway, I mean, you can walk through there, but you can also walk through over here. This is the Grand Hyatt Hotel. Okay, let's go ahead and keep walking. I almost thought that was a bus, but no, it is kind of a bus, sort of. I have to adjust my gimbal there.
was I? Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Terminus. Morgan Stanley. Alma Gosina. And there's a Chick-fil-A over here as well. Pretty cool. Havanese across the street. Men's Warehouse, Verizon. But these trucks are going, man. They look like acting unit trucks, like for actors or something. Okay, so they have bus service here. This is the route number five right there and route number 110, which goes by the Arc Center in uh, Midtown, which is where I'll be scooting to. This is Piedmont Road, Adriana. This is actually this is actually Piedmont Road. Adriana said Marta, yep. It's a very nice looking modern rooms to go. What is up, Michael Bullet saying there's an Alma Cocina downtown. I didn't know there was one in Buckhead too. Yeah, they, they have one over here in Buckhead, yep. Moss Potato, what's up, man? Saying, I found your location on Google Maps. Awesome. That's awesome, both of you. It's a very nice alleyway here, going to a really, really sleek looking hotels. Really nice. changes in that area wow okay definitely yep I just walked across Piedmont Road exactly mouse potato you can actually walk through here too it goes around I can show you guys this area as well I have to change the thumbnail when I get back to 60 FPS, not 4K. I'm not sure what happened, but for some reason YouTube did 60, which is equally as good as 4K, to be honest with you. Most potatoes said I'm learning to be a hitman. I'm learning to be a hitman. <laughs> a hitman. Hampton Inn and Suites over there. Massage Infinity. Amal Amalfi. Lucina. Mercato. It's Italian. 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 Across the 
street here. This guy's trying to get over. Here we go. <sighs> he was actually going that way. There's some marshals over here and the five below as well. Cool. I showed that late last year as well, but this is much better quality than what I had to work with last year. By far. So far that the app isn't able to catch up with the phone now. The phone is too good for it. Adriana said a lot of Italian restaurants, I see. Let me readjust the gimbal in my hand. I'm kind of straining my pinky for no good reason. Here we go. Very nice. Oh yeah. Two M's, Michael and Mouse and Michael, really. Michael and Mouse. Big M's, man. M like money. There you go. And this area is full of money. Speaking of, this is Buckhead. This is one of the richest areas of Atlanta. Just like your Minecraft world, it, it actually does, kind of. Mouse Potato, I, I have to agree with you, it really does. That's kind of funny. It actually does look like my Minecraft world. That's so cool, man. I had no idea I was making Buckhead that whole time. I wish I had known it, but something in my soul must have beckoned it. There you go. Adjust the ISO a bit for you so it's not too overexposed. There we go. We're all good. I'm doing manual settings as I'm live streaming, which is kind of a lot. Because if I do auto, I won't stay at 60 FPS on the CameraFi app. Here's my scooter. I'm carrying it or rolling it as I'm doing this. The temperature has definitely dropped from yesterday. Evolution Hi-Fi in theater. Let me, it's blown out, but let me show you what it says very quickly. There you go. sky over there. Those clouds look so rich in detail. Love American City, said Mouse Potato. Me too. I like how they have it very widespread, a lot of cool looking architecture, the light settings of it. This is a very pretty looking city, Buckhead in Atlanta. You can just tell that there's money here. Could do with a few castles though. That would make this area look enchanting. Like this is a church right here, but imagine if this was an actual cash castle rather. Created a whole new word, castle. Never heard of that before. But castle. But this is actually a church right here. 
me show you Go to the settings here so you can see it better. Go into the settings. There you go. I already did that actually. <laughs> But it looks really pretty over here. This is a United Methodist Church, Peachtree Road, UMC. So Peachtree Road, United Methodist Church. Very nice. Zoni up ahead, okay. Let me look at the comments. Have you have you been in Ponce? They have a nice rooftop and mini restaurants. I think I passed by Ponce de Leon before. They have the Samsung, both the iPhone 15 and the Samsung Galaxy S24 advertised throughout the whole city of Atlanta. And I'm using one of them. I'm using the S24 Ultra, 512 gigabyte variant. That's a $1,400 phone when I got it. Grateful that I can even do stuff like that. That name has a whole different meaning here in the UK, said Mouse Potato. There's those blue boxes, he said. Er There's those blue mailboxes, he said earlier. I know, right? And Peachtree Road is one of your favorite streets. Cool. Absolutely. I can see how. It's so scenic. alterations and they also have a bridal altar bridal atelier atelier and floral design cool sorry if I'm butchering my words there but there we go that's how it looks pretty cool stuff look at that they even have the uh, wedding gown in the window Awesome. Peach tree, let me take the settings box off. Peach tree row, peach tree street, peach tree corners. I know, right? Peach tree everything. They have a peach tree thing for everything. Hey, what's up, guys? They have a peach tree street, peach tree road, peach tree place, peach tree avenue, peach tree. Circuit, peach tree, renaissance, peach tree, doable, peach tree, edible, you name it, peach tree, anything. As long as it's peach tree, we're good. If it doesn't have peach tree in it, it's not Atlanta. Mouse Potato said it means a man that lives of a prostitute's earnings here in the UK. Oh no. <laughs> Angel, what is up? Saying Angel, Angel Riviera Chicken Minecraft Wall Clock Airplane. <laughs> Hello, streams. What's up, man? 
Welcome back. We're here in uh, Midtown Atlanta, really, really uptown Atlanta, and uh, Buckhead. Adriana's laughing. I am too. That sounds terrible. <laughs> Ponce means that in the UK. Michael said, there's only one Peachtree Road. There is because they have a Peachtree Road northeast and then I saw a southeast as well. Kind of threw me through a loop, but you know Atlanta, I'm taking your word for it. There's only one Peachtree Road. 14 people, welcome. Welcome to Atlanta, baby. We are in the A today. I am pretty hungry, but I won't stop streaming until we're through Midtown Atlanta. If the UK, if they had that name here in the UK, the police would be swarming all over it. Oh no. <laughs> that sounds pretty bad, mouse potato. Meet you at Buck's Head in 1838. Henry Irby purchased more than 200 acres surrounding the intersection of Peachtree, Roswell, and Paces Ferry Road, or Paces Ferry Roads, for just $650. Wow. Irby was the son of a South Carolina harness maker and a relative newcomer to the area. He became a prosperous farmer and built a general store facing Roswell Road. Okay. Facing Roswell Road. A small crossroads community grew up around it with a post office, blacksmith shop, and other businesses ser serving neighboring farmers and drawers on their way to the market in Atlanta. Dro Dovers? I think that's saying. Drovers? Interesting. Here are the pictures for it. This is in 1918. Hey there, Diana Lee. It is a very expensive area. Adriana, Michael Bullop saying the direction, location indicator, northeast, southeast, etc., pertains to where that intersection or where that section of Peachtree Road is. There is only one Peachtree Road. Kind of confusing, man. That's exactly how it's confusing. They're trying to organize it, but oh no, man. The Merck Commercial Corps reimagined in the early 20th century Buckhead's commercial center developed rapidly at this intersection, especially after a new streetcar line opened in 1909 from downtown Atlanta to Buckhead. In 1923, Philip C. McDuffel built the still standing two story gray brick office and retail building in front of you. By then, a hardware store, a barbershop, a dry cleaner, and several grocery stores lined Peachtree Road here. With the addition of many small shops in the coming years, this remained the commercial hub of the community into the 1950s. And this is in 1948 right there. Great to see you, Diana Lee. So this is, they had futuristic looking, spaceship looking cars already in the 1940s going into the 1950s that even today, the styles are just now coming back to, in my opinion. I'm glad they're making cars look good again. Charlie Loudermilk Park. This is a block park. Cool. I went over here in 2023. Here's the Buckhead Theater across the street. It's 
what they're advertising. said, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, yep, and to the republic for which it stands on one nation under God and the invisible with liberty and justice for all. Exactly. He's giving you a thumbs up, man. Michael Bullops said, it is no different than East 49th Street and West 49th Street and NYC. It's all 49th Street. Oh, okay, I get you. So that's just how they label it here in Atlanta. Okay. Southeast and Northeast. I remember it was one of the first movie theaters that would serve you food and drinks. Cool, man. Buckhead Theater. It's been here for decades. That's pretty awesome. Pretty cool. That rainstorm was amazing, DM. Thank you so much, Diana Lee. It really was. Glad I ran. Actually, to almost no avail. No, no, I'll go ahead and cross over here. Never mind. See if we can cross the street. I want to take you through uh, the Buckhead Village and then I'll continue to walk down. Thirteen people once again, welcome! The US, United States of America was actually born in 1776, but yeah, man. when you press it. <laughs> Should be about our time, here we go. Let's go through the Buckhead Village, guys. All of you watching. Hi. Let's go through the Buckhead Village and see what it looks like. Concierge Paris. We're gonna go this way and come in onto a Boiling Way. Come in that way. Exactly, there's supposed to be a solar eclipse on April 8th, I know. I'm gonna probably come yeah, back like, over here. Just right. as straight as be, like, I'm gonna come back here to Atlanta on uh, April 8th. I think it's easier if I just do that than going to another state. We're not sure what the weather is gonna be, who's gonna be sunny, who isn't. Solar eclipses are amazing, and I had the solar eclipse filters for, for my camera and for my eyes that I finally got that I didn't even have in 2017. So I'm more prepared for it, but it may not even be anything, but nonetheless, I'll just keep it in the back of my equipment for any time I see an eclipse. It may be years old, though, by the time I actually use it again. At the very least minimum, probably two, because I know there's a 
eclipse in Europe in 2026 as well. It's amazing over here, guys. They have Dior right there. Let me uh, fix the ISO so you can see it better. They have super high quality shops here. Dior. Hi, what's up? <laughs> They mean money here, dude. Let me adjust this again. 15 people, what's up? Welcome. 15 lovely viewers. Welcome to the A. Hi, what's up? It looks awesome over here, dude. Diana Lee said. Sidewalks, yay, lol. I know, right? Mouse Potato said, very sterile looking. Exactly, it is. Okay. Angel said, April 22nd until Earth Day. I think Earth Day is April 22nd. Easter kind of confused me this year. I didn't know Easter was gonna be at the end of March. That threw me through a loop to be really honest with me. I was like, Easter's on March 31st? I thought people were kidding until it really was. I'm like, no, it really is. It's up 16 people. That's a futuristic looking Kia going on there. Wow. Let's continue to walk through here. Compared to England, wow, it's actually nice. No, you're cool, you're cool. Thank you. Buckhead Village, here we go. They have beautiful smooth jazz playing. I'm just gonna keep talking over it though. I'm not sure if it's copyrighted. But it really is nice over here. They have a valet over here for the Buckhead Village. Pretty cool. Hi. Billy Raid. Billy Reed, rather. Seventeen people, welcome. Michael Bullop said, "We need to send you to Cape Garadu, Missouri. It's only eight hours away, and they get the total eclipse. We only get eighty percent here. I could do that in Missouri. Okay. I hope that they don't have too much cloud coverage, though." If I do anything, I would need to do it tonight or tomorrow and book my bus tickets and hotel very soon. Dinah Lee said, looks like a good place to be in. It really is. This is one of the best places to be in Atlanta. Very nice. Joe T said, Michael, Connecticut gets 90 to 94%. That's crazy, Joe T. That's pretty crazy. I can actually just walk through here. <laughs> See what I mean? They mean money here. They mean business. Shake Shack. They're actually still open. Shake Shack. Mouse Potato said earlier I ate six chocolate eggs over Easter. Cool, man. And once again, Adriana said nice area. Absolutely. I totally agree. We're gonna go. We're gonna walk to our left, and I'm gonna uh, ride down Peachtree Street. Go this way. I love you too. <laughs> the 
please don't spam. <laughs> is it cheaper to get to Connecticut? It probably is cheaper to get to Missouri. It's closer, but I in theory could get to Connecticut. It just would cost a lot of money to fly there and then fly back to Georgia. Actually, this is my time where I can cross the street and get back on the right side of the road for the United States, for the UK watching. Now it is 20.52 p.m., which is 8.52 in military time, 8.52 p.m., and somebody wrote a really proper, well-written um, Tucker right there. I'm not sure who Tucker is, but very nice font going on there. super ashy. It's very cold out here now. Not very cold, but super windy and a lot cooler. You can tell the temperature is starting to go down now. But I appreciate the cool air. I was having a pretty decent workout doing those pre-recorded videos earlier. So the Marta Bus 110 actually runs on Peachtree Road once again. I just remembered that. First Horizon Banking Center and First Horizon Advisors, okay. We cross where we like, said Mouse Potato, yeah, right? It's the UK. See what I meant with, uh, this is actually a W, but the big M's. M like money. That is a cool dog leash. It's an LED dog leash. That's awesome. Pretty cool. We're both ahead of the curb in a way. Hey there, Miss Celestial Ascent. Miss Celestial is set. Welcome. Saying, hey there, Dream Machine. Mind you, you could jump over the width of our road, said Mouse Potato. I know, right? <laughs> Just with one single hop. It's kind of funny. I wish I could stay in Connecticut or Missouri, but I probably can. I just have to figure out where I'll stay there when I get there. Let's see if uh, Starbucks is open. Maybe I can go ahead and get a cookie inside of here. If it's close, it's not going to do me any good, though. Pedestrians have all rights here. That sounds awesome, Mouse Potato. Uh, Starbucks is closed. They have the chairs up. All right. Never mind. I was gonna go ahead and get a chocolate chip cookie in there, but I need something to actually eat anyway. Let's walk through over here. I've never really walked through here before, so let's see what they have to offer. Most of us walk. Awesome, man.
Let's walk through here. Barnes & Noble is still open, however, but Starbucks isn't, unfortunately. Don't know how you came to that conclusion, Joseph. Said Mouse Potato. Still have roadmaps in there on sale. Wow. Pretty cool. Publix has a good deli, they do. There's how inside of it looks, it's kind of overexposed, but pretty big inside of there. Let's see, can you see it better? Sort of. There we go, now I can see inside of it. The car knocked at me as I was crossing an intersection. Wow. Mouse Potato said we do have certain rules for crossing. Mouse Potato said always look left. No, always look right, I mean. Okay. Good evening, bud, said the wizard. Good evening. Good evening to you. evening go. doing good man so pretty pretty soon I'm about to uh, put this on my chest mount and we're gonna take a scooter ride to Midtown but I want to show over here first Canton Buddha restaurant Threading and body wax. Mouse Potato said, you probably got confused because we drive on the proper side of the street. <laughs> you know? That's the scooter that just shook there with the gimple. Oh, goodness. Sorry about that, guys. It's a wobbly kind of ride there. This must be like DoorDash. Great clips. Papa John's Pizza. German Med Spa. Massage height. Absolutely, Miss Celestial Ascent. It looks very nice over here indeed. Oh, I have to update Nightbot. I'm in Atlanta. It gave the temperature for Stockbridge, but. And the mouse potato said I'm being cheeky POV. Ooh. Are you? Let me go ahead and uh, adjust Nightbot. <sighs> Stretch my arm out a little bit. I could just do it on the same phone. One, we're going to change it to, I'm just going to put Atlanta. 30303. It's the easiest zip code to memorize. And there we go. This is an excellent phone. It's super fast and I love it. Over here it looks pretty closed to be honest. 
It doesn't look that active over here. It's quieted down a lot. They even have a T-Mobile right there. Miss Celestial Ascent said pizza, absolutely. Or the pizza emoji. I would probably go to Missouri, to be honest with you guys. I probably would. Condos, tacos. They're cleaning up, though. Haven Pet Resort, okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna set up my uh, equipment now to go ahead and go on a scooter ride. Mouse Potato said the dominant eye is the right one, which helps if you drive on the left, which is better in safety terms. Adriana said, I don't think I could drive in London. Yeah, I mean, it really depends. That's like driving in New York. Actually, I can bring my scooter and equipment over to the left here where, where I just passed by all these tables and pack up over here. Let's do it that way. Okay, guys, I'm going to put you on the table right here. You can watch me pack up. Here we go. So I'm going to put the gimbal away, and I'm going to also uh, put on my chest mount right here. I'm out right there. Oh yeah, that temperature has definitely dropped. I can tell. I love doing these streams for you guys. It's so much fun. It really is. I love doing this. Okay. There you go, guys. I'm going to disable the gimbal. Put you guys on here. <laughs> Stop stripping me of being disgusting. <laughs> Adriana, have you been to New York Dream Machine? Um, the last time I was in New York was in 2015. So it's been a long time ago by now. I need to go back. I plan to go back there, but maybe I could do that for the eclipse. That'd be pretty cool. Here we go. My camera is holding up 47% charge, which is excellent. Now we're going to put the gimbal away. I'll take the other gimbal out my backup gimbal now that was my main gimbal for a few years a couple of years magnetic mount is there moss potato you were pretty funny with walk ride flying and when he was trying to speak in british <laughs> That had me laughing so hard, man. Here we 
we go. Got the scooter charger right there as well. Now that part was, this is so loose, that's what it is. There we go. Guys, there we go. I zip this all the way. And now see, that was kind of ironic. That mouse potato said that and then this decided to show that area. <laughs> You've got it all sorted. Absolutely, mouse potato. It's a sorted uh, book bag. It's an assorted backpack, rather. Yep. Angel said, Adriana Rodriguez and Dream Machine Free Palestinos. We don't really do politics here either. But I agree, I want justice for all. This phone was too much for that phone handle on here earlier because it was going all sorts of different places. It was going all the way down like this and then then it was going like this. It was too much for it. On the bumpy streets of the ATL. There you go. All right. POV, when you come to New York City, you can come visit New Haven, Connecticut. You can come visit New Haven, Connecticut for the best brick oven pizza in the country. Cool, man. I'll probably do so. Yeah, it's 54 in Atlanta. It's getting colder. 54 Fahrenheit, which is about 12 Celsius. So we got two and a half bars left. We have enough probably just to ride to Atlanta. Let's go ahead and go. Tell you, these streets in Atlanta are probably gonna have to get new wheels now. They're too, they're too bumpy. I can't read your comments, guys, because I'm riding, so gotta be safe. Gotta be safe. Driver. Man, these streets in Atlanta are hilariously bumpy, man.
That's a nice car that just passed us. It's an expensive car. Ridiculous. This is the first time I've ever ridden in Atlanta in the city part on my own scooter. back up on Midtown Atlanta. Sheesh, that was kind of dangerous. Wide enough sidewalk here. Super windy. Let me get on the sidewalk now that there's enough space. I see Midtown Atlanta coming up. Saw that 
driver, right? I had no other choice, though, but to do what I had to do. So this is more of a scooter-friendly area that we're in right now. It's more scooter-friendly, so that's always a good thing. Theoretically, if there's enough space, I can get back on the sidewalk here, but I see a car coming out, so I'm not going to do that. Jeez. Oh, goodness, dude. I wasn't sure if he was coming out towards me or... Ugh. I'm zipping really fast. This is a fast scooter, and it's at one bar now, or one and a half bars, but... It's a fast little scooter. Yeah, that back wheel comes up when I brake on it. cars coming. Let's go in and take advantage of this. I think this is a bike lane up ahead. Yep. Honked at. I know it's a thin roadway. <sighs> that was ridiculous. You remind me of Action Kid, I know, right? <laughs> Gianna, I even ride my scooter like Action Kid. That's crazy. POV is a clone of AK Adriana, I can tell. Must be. Yeah. That Mercedes Benz taking off just kind of maybe you want to speed a bit. We're in Midtown Atlanta, guys. This is Midtown Atlanta. We're back. This actually, we can, I guess we can do this way. What part of Atlanta is this though? What part of Midtown rather is this? That's the question. Let's go back this way. Whoa, dude. You're going the wrong way. It's that way, dude. No, you... this is this is no. You're supposed to go the other way. You have to do a U-turn. Okay. Okay. It's a weird setup. weird in Atlanta, but that... Alright. So that's that's a one-way strip. That's kind of weird, man. 
not going to have an argument. Though. I'm not that kind of guy. It is what it is. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Uh, we're at Rhodes Hall right now, actually. My scooter's running out of juice. It's going slow now. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, we're back in Midtown Atlanta now. I'm gonna get off the scooter. And mind you guys, that was my first time ever going past a one-way strip where it looked like it was a two-way road. It was a wide lane, two-lane road. Careful, POV, you will get pulled over for speeding. Some other potato earlier. Adriana Rodriguez said, but in Georgia, it's a different story. Just be careful. I know, right? Was that a one-way street? Yeah, it was. Adriana said, oh my god. Beeping like that, like he owns the road. I know, right? I laugh. I would have had a laugh. Is that a mouse potato? Or how did you just say that? I would have... I would have, would have been a laugh. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. It's enough scooting for me. So let's go ahead and just do a regular walk now. We're back in Midtown. That's the good part. I got to work on my scooting skills, but that was my first time in Atlanta doing that, so. POV, how are you getting home? I probably will just take a lift back. But I'm going to walk through Midtown and then in the stream. But I'm going to be walking in Midtown for a little while, and then I'll go ahead and end it. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. Put this on here. Adriana Rodriguez. See that? Look at that. See? Same thing. So, I'm not the only one. Adriana Rodriguez. My youngest son works at Bank of Georgia building. It's a beautiful building. Cool. Moss Potato. I would have... I would have argued with them. I mean, it was up for argument, but I just don't feel like doing that right now. Not all English people are passive aggressive. Mwahaha. <laughs> I know, right? I'm going to put you guys in this gimbal. And we can start streaming again on the gimbal. go. I don't really need this chest mount on so much, but I'll keep it on in case if I need a scoot at speed. It's easier just to keep it on. Too late to argue, I know, right? Hey, Dream Bet Machine, back from exercising in my neighborhood. Cool, man. Jeremy said, hey, Dream Machine, back from exercising in neighborhood and golf course in my neighborhood. Dream Machine, cool, man. Hope you enjoyed it. Sounds fun. Boss Potato said it would have been a right laugh POV. Might have been a great PR stunt. I know, right? <laughs> How 
Are you Dream Machine? I'm okay. I just got off of a kind of dangerous scooter ride from Buckhead to downtown Atlanta. It wasn't exactly the safest, but I'm okay. You might have ended up in one of those Americans getting angry compilations on YouTube. Yeah, and they could have just stolen it right from my stream. They could have just clipped it. It would have been pretty uh, accurate. It probably already is, to be honest. I definitely would post it on my own channel. I don't think that was a one way. I don't think it was, but it could have been. I don't even care at this point. As long as I'm in Midtown Atlanta and in one piece, that's all that matters. I'm not going to argue with someone about a street jurisdiction and how they made it and if it's right or wrong. Imagine the publicity, I know, right? <laughs> dream Machine, right? You're like, oh, that's Dream Machine. Oh, that's the guy who was talking about that street in Atlanta with that truck that pulled in. He said, nah, nigga. <laughs> The other guy said, no, nah, nigga, it's, you know, it's a one way. Yeah, that's that guy, Dream Machine. He just, he thought he knew it, but then the other guy thought he knew it soon. I don't know, man. Maybe both were wrong, but maybe one was right. Maybe Dream Machine was right. Maybe the other guy was right. <laughs> And then right after, then there's another scooter rider flying past me as I'm putting you guys in the gimbal to confirm I'm not the only one. To confirm I'm not the only one, rather. Speeding on the sidewalk. I would call it Crazy Bastard Tries to Kill Me. Crazy Bastard! <laughs> Keller Williams Realty, Atlanta Midtown. It's kind of overexposed here. Let me go ahead and uh, change the ISO here. There you go. Too dark. Luxury, cool. But you have to be careful just in general though, walking in Atlanta. It's not, and uh, really the outskirts. The downtown area is actually okay, but it's the outskirts that you have to be kind of worried about. You could do a compilation of all the ridiculous traffic incidents you've encountered on your channel. I could, especially the ones from the 2010s. That's when I was uh, cycling the most in Georgia, was during the late 2010s. That would be pretty apropos. Mouse Potato said, good idea. What's up? How are you doing? <laughs> kind of congested a little. I know the temperature is dropping. Is that Peel? From Keen Peel? I think that's Peel, man. I used to work in Peachtree Center. Cool, man. Oh, cool. We just passed it, I think. That's awesome. Atlanta is a very dangerous city for pedestrians and bicyclists. I see. It's kind of, in a way, like New York. It's just a bit more crunk with it, if you want to say it that way. literally crashed and its state is way off it thinks it's 12 45 a.m. on Wednesday January 4th 2023 <laughs> that's kind of funny
That has some really bumpy streets. I don't like it. I have to admit, roads in Midtown are a lot smoother than uh, coming over here. Walking sign doesn't even work. It just literally went black. Are you in Midtown? Yes, I am. We're right in Midtown Atlanta. Nice. It's very modern over here. 1349. Show you how this looks. Very modern. It's really pretty. Stuttering skater should go to Atlanta. <laughs> I know, right? The stuttering skater. I have to look that particular YouTuber up. I'm not sure who the stuttering skater is, but <laughs> yeah, you know, at the time of his life, coming here to Atlanta. It's a pretty area, absolutely, Adriana. So it's, it looks really nice. A. They got a bonfire right there. That's awesome. Well, hey, how are you doing? Miss Celeste Jellison said, you'll find out. <laughs> Mouse Potato said, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, I used to think Atlanta and Atlantic City were the same place. It sounds like it. Atlanta, Atlantis, Atlantic. It has Atlantic, Atlanta. It has Atlanta, uh, Atlanta, Atlantic rather in it. It is kind of the same. So it's easy to see why you would say that or why you would think that.
guy is going to turn to his left. Absolutely, man. Sure thing, absolutely. There we go. I'm probably gonna ride my scooter in a second soon, but so. I'm gonna probably ride mine too in a quick second. It's a really nice looking workplace in there. Interface. Very minimalist. Look up. You can see Bank. Of, you can see the Bank of America building. Yep. Exactly. We're close enough to it. A lot of the scooters need to be charged. I see. A lot of them are in red. Here's a Marta bus. Uh, Marta train stop over here as well. Marta bus and. Metro stop. The shuddering skater is from New York City. Then I would invite him to come to Atlanta, Miss Celestial Ascent. They definitely have that kind of uh, vibe going on. Looks like the tallest building in Atlanta on Google Maps. It actually is. The Bank of America Tower is the tallest building in Atlanta. It actually is. station exactly Adriana yeah over Midtown they're not open yet but they're still constructing it it's, it's definitely come a long ways from where it was in 2023 and over Midtown <clears throat> excuse me coming soon light is flickering there could be 4k or it could be in 60 fps i'm confused now it's streaming at 60 on my end but it could be 30 on your end hey guys in the settings tab was this in 4k the whole time or was this in 1080p 60 i'm just checking because um it says 2160p 30 fps but yet on my end i'm seeing 60. Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta looks like it was made from origami. That's exactly the whole point. It's an origami-shaped uh, building. It's very futuristic and artistic looking.
Jason, what is up, man? Saying just now arriving. Didn't you didn't know you were going on so early? Yeah, I was over here in Atlanta. I was over here in Atlanta taking videos. I wanted to get it while it was still sunny outside and daytime, but it was actually partly cloudy. I ended up trying to use the ND filters that didn't go so well, so I just ended up using the auto shutter and auto ISO because the gimbal was just too much for it to handle. That stadium is amazing. Absolutely, Adriana. I love the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Regions Plaza. Up ahead is the Google headquarters. Here we have Whole Foods Market. It's the whole block. Walk. All right. I like how they have these trees lit up. It's so cold now. <laughs> yeah. They on YouTube, they are your boss. They are our overlords. They are Google. <laughs> they are Google. And they're here in Atlanta. Atlantic. Go in there and get a raise. I know, right? I'm gonna walk. I'm a march in there. I'm going Google. I'm a march in there. I'm gonna tell them YouTube it sucks, man. You only pay me by the ads, and there's like 69 cents per ad or something, or is it 12 cents or something? It sucks. And I'm gonna let you know it's your face. You gotta do YouTube better than that, Google. That revenue sharing thing is not, it's not good. This almost looks like the Sims game. It does. I agree. Not my bus yet. The freckers haven't even monetized me yet. The freckers haven't even monetized me yet. Oh gosh. They have all the Atlanta United Soccer games. They are cool. Adriana, Jason said quarters. I didn't know it was in ATL. Yeah, headquarters, yep. This is one of them though. There it is, Google headquarters. They do need to do better with YouTube though, I'll say that. park this over here real quick. I want to see 
what the resolution of the live stream is. Let's see. Let's see. We are streaming at 4K. That's what I thought. But on my end, I'm seeing 60 FPS. That's nuts. Well, good. It's in 4K, though. That's good. I hope it's in 4K. At least I'm seeing 60 FPS, though. getting windy here in Atlanta. It is getting very windy. It's a windy Wednesday. Seaman's cool. I don't really care where you have to go, man. I'm at the right of way. He's saying hi to me. Wendy, it's getting nice. Clear on my end. Awesome, Miss Celestial Ascent. Awesome. For me, it helps that the viewfinder is at 60 FPS. That helps me manage to make it look more realistic than even though it's 30, apparently. Okay, Adriana saying, take care, DM, be safe. Good night, everyone. Good night, Adriana Rodriguez. Thank you for joining. Glad you could enjoy it.
Mary out. Hi, Mary Jane. These winds have picked up considerably out here. Considerably. Moss Potato said, is that a hurricane? It was more of a tropical cyclone last night in Stockbridge, but I'm sure in Atlanta it was more of a tropical storm. Can you call a lift dream machine? I have the app downloaded. I have to check that out in a second. Because I forgot to bring my other phone with me, but I'm going to end it here in Midtown Atlanta anyway. I don't see a purpose of going to downtown. It's not a, that's not really a purpose tonight. So I'm going to probably just go ahead and call it a night anyway. And a couple more blocks. But before I do that, I'm going to park my scooter over here at 10th Street for a quick second and I gotta make sure that I have the lift app on here that my scooter doesn't get blown over all right let's see Whew. gonna check Okay, I'm on the lift app. Let's see how much would it cost to go back from here. $36.99. It's kind of expensive, but Probably bring it down a few dollars if I walk a little further. Actually, we can probably walk over here a second. I see pretty lights over there. Miss Celestial Ascent said 10 10 winds. Absolutely. I've never been over here before, but this is a parking garage. 10, 10 winds, exactly. Oh, it's very modern over here. Extremely modern. minimalist kind of architecture. Nice furniture going on. Hello, good evening. Doing good. I'm glad I could make it back from Midtown on this scooter. The lanes went to like a two-lane road and I was trying to signal and this car beeped at me and almost clipped me off. <laughs> yeah, man, the outskirts of Atlanta are crazy. Like, it surely is. Yeah, bro. You'd be safe, Definitely. You too. Yep. Sure. Definitely. Yep. Let me adjust the uh, ISO in here. There we go. Perfect. Looks like one of your Minecraft. Looks like one of your Minecrafty builds. <laughs> yeah, right. It actually kind of does. Once again, it's very modern.
It's a nice area over here. Decorated area. Nicely decorated area. Absolutely, Moss Potato. I agree. I love the colors going on over here. This thing is broken. Look at this door, it's all broken. Cool. Maybe it's time for me to do it as well, but... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yo, Miranda, what is up? Cross over here real quick. Oh, goodness. And... I'll just go over here then. Yo, what's up, Miranda? What's up? I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream in a second. Here in Midtown Atlanta. Mouse Potato said you will get used to it. Oh yeah. Pizza Suites by Hilton is right to our left. stream for you. Nice. Kind of buffering. Not so tail sign buggering off. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do is pack this gimbal up and yeah Miranda, you made it just in time. Yep. I'm going to pack this gimbal up and I'm going to actually ride back the other way. guys on my uh, chest mount there you go and I'm gonna put this away
Okay. Put this away. barely grab the Kemble the right way. But here we go. We did it. Let's take one last scooter ride here in Atlanta. The remaining battery I have left. It may be a little bit slow, but we'll go ahead and attempt to ride it anyway. Let's ride over a block and see how it does. Midtown is pretty at night, Miranda. Absolutely. Go to the right. All right. Let's give this a whip. Hey, are you? Okay, here we go. It's trying to go up. <laughs> it's going so slow, but. <laughs> well, there you go. It tried to. All right. Kind of struggling up this hill but it's wanting to go faster but this battery is almost <laughs> it's almost dead if i shake it forward it can go there you go now we're doing something okay all right scooter i give it to you Doing 16, okay. Let's see, is it gonna get anywhere or are we gonna? Nope. That scooter lasted for a while, okay. It tried to, but ultimately to no avail it. Oops. Can't go up the hills anymore. Well, there you go. Turn the scooter off there. 
Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream now over here at Peachtree Place Northeast and Peachtree Street Northeast. See, what did I say? Peachtree Place, Peachtree Street, Peachtree Road. <sighs> okay, guys, I'm going to put my left hair and call it a night. If you guys like that stream, please give this a thumbs up. That was so adrenaline packed. And a model sets mine. How are you, Tree Machine? I'm tired now, but had a wild kind of a commute from Midtown, from Buckhead to Midtown. It was pretty crazy, but I'm okay. Okay, guys, let's see if I can turn this here. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream. It seems like it's streaming at 60 FPS. Take this out of the clamp here. Okay, guys, cheers, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream now, and uh, thanks for watching. I'm gonna book my lift, I'm gonna do it on stream. Confirm it for you guys so you guys know I'm leaving here. got pollen in my eyes and everything it's actually more expensive but forty dollars forty dollars for a lift okay I booked it I said that it was uh, to resume live streaming but it actually already was my eyes are super itchy oh wow too much pollen in them but Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, end the stream here. Thanks for watching. Please give this a thumbs up. $40 for a lift. So if you want to donate to me on PayPal or whatever you want to do, Super Chat. It's awesome, man. Bye, everyone. Until next time, same to you, Ahmad, Miss Celestial Ascent, Michael Bulbs, and everyone else, Adriana, everyone on the stream, take care. The Celestial Ascent said, thanks, go eat an awesome meal. Absolutely. I will. Miranda, Mouse Potato, Michael, Jason. Cheers, guys. Coming to you from Atlanta. You're watching. Dream Machine. Take care, guys.